I used to really fancy Kylie Minogue in the 80s. In fact, actually, I still really fancy her now, so li literally nothing's changed. She's my longest standing crush. I loved Dallas, always loved Dallas, and I had a bit of a crush on Bobby Ewing. I don't know whether it was his big hair and his enormous head, and when he got into his Mercedes, red Mercedes soft top, he was huge in it, and he made the car look tiny. But I didn't quite like him, yeah. I had a weird crush on Richard Whiteley <laughs> because he sort of, this, this will make me sound like such a weird person, but he, he reminded me of my dad, which now sounds like I had a crush on my dad, which I just like to point out I didn't. Um, but he, his sense of humour is, um, was, God bless him, uh, very similar to my dad's. And I just thought he was a very lovable, unusual character to present a programme like Countdown. I worked with Duran Duran. I thought they were all gorgeous. I worked with Boy George and I thought he was heaven. So I was quite mad in the 80s. I also worked with Elton John and fell madly in love with Elton John. It was just crazy in the 80s. Oh, I'll tell you my weirdest uh, 80s crush. Um, I've never told you this. Margaret Thatcher? No. Sandy Toxic. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Why? Where do you see that? What <laughs> Num was you presenting? Number 73. <laughs> number 73. Yeah. Uh, my weird crush in... I love her. She's, I love her now. She's funny, witty. Yeah, she's funny and witty. Pocket sized? I think she's about lesbian. That's all I need. <laughs>